Hello guys, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video. Today, I'm going to try to clear my map using all Zookas. Now, this is going to be super interesting, and to make it more interesting, we only have 140,000 gold. Hopefully, we get some gold here. Okay, okay, we'll be fine. Okay, we'll grab that gold, but still, we might lose a few bases and lose that gold very, very fast. So, a couple things with all Zookas. First, we need a little bit more energy. And I did boost up my resource reward also just because we could. Um, now, I should mention that AZ at this level can be pretty difficult. And there are definitely some bases where AZ is worse at than Warriors. For example, this base here. Corner bases are kind of difficult to take out using AZ. But they are super easy to take out using Warriors. So I'm going to save that to when I train up my Warriors. Here is a left placed core. This base will also be pretty easy with warriors because there's no shock launchers on the core. Um, hopefully we find some bases that are good to take out using AZ. Okay, here's a base that would be pretty difficult with warriors. We got damage amplified rocket launchers, um, some other stuff, and I know exactly what I'm gonna do. So first we need a boat of heavies to save me from some of these rocket launcher fires um, and again i do have a bullet taunt and that's actually going to play a crucial part in taking down this base design here this is going to be a tough base this is going to be a really tough base to take out but i am up for the challenge and i think i can do it so good mind placement by this player actually really tough kind of making it difficult for me what I need to do is get bullet taunt right in here to taunt these three defenses. I need my Zookas and heavies to stand behind and it will be an easy win. It's just getting to that point is gonna be extremely, extremely difficult and very, very intensive. Um, very, I mean, very energy intensive. So it's gonna be tough, enough talking. I've kind of have a plan. <laughs> Not really, but we'll, we'll try it out. So, do this, get another smoke down, and we're gonna flare over here. Oh gosh, this is gonna be really, really tough. And of course, some of my Zookas are walking out, but it honestly didn't hurt me, so that is good to see. Okay, uh, we're gonna get another smoke over there that would have fired and destroyed me. Now for the brutal walk up, I'm going to use these massive buildings he's placed here to walk at not a 45 degree angle. So typically with the Zookas, you want to walk at around a 45 degree angle when you're moving up the base. But because he had massive defenses, we didn't have to. Oh gosh. Okay, that was a fail because we hit a mine, but I think we could defeat it that exact way. And now I know about how much energy I have and how much I'll have when I get to the core. So, and, and we'll save energy also. Okay, round two, let's go. So right off the bat, this mine has to drop. That hurt me. And these mines have to drop also. I'm gonna drop my troops over here. I'm gonna do a somewhat different walk up kind of peaking in multiple places being very very risky <laughs> and uh, this flare is actually not at the same place the first one was the first one I would say worked out really really well so I kind of wish I placed this flare around that spot flare that way Get some more smokes out you can kind of tell where my zookas are walking okay we'll get a couple more smokes Flare right up to the top here and activate taunt, of course. We're gonna get critters down to help distract. Maybe we need that. And flare to that core and get some shocks out on the rocket launchers. And I think this will be a win. We can see all of these splash defenses are targeting bullet. That's a very big key, and that was a nice solid win. Now that was a tough base. I'll be honest, I don't think I could have took it out using Warriors. Maybe if I was on a full boost, but it's a very tough base with the boosted damage amplifiers. But using AZ, it was a piece of cake. Obviously, it took a little bit of skill and highly depended on bullet, but 
that worked very well. So this base just has too much HP, I think, to be able to do anything. Um, I have to keep this defense cluster shocked. Then I can also, I also have to keep this shocked unless I go from this side. And it, it's just not a very good base design. Also, doesn't really have any wood, even though I don't need wood. This player has way more loot, way more loot. But this is very much a warrior attack. And we'll keep looking for a Zuka attack. Here's a base that is also a warrior attack. But I want to attack it just because I can. It should be should be really easy should be really really easy I think actually I, I take that back I just realized I forgot to take down these first couple mines in a bit my heavies and bullet will walk in front of my troops so they'll take down mines but until we get to that point I had to take down the other mines Okay. now this is gonna be really interesting I don't know if this is going to work here. <laughs> I'm going to try. This is the only reason I wanted to attack this base. is to get right up here. Okay, good. Now we'll flare to that core. Zuka's, of course, will split. And then we'll just shock the rocket launchers. Taunt will activate everything but my Zuka's. Um, it will activate all the splash, that is. And then my Zuka's are just going to sit here taking out the core. The rocket launchers came back a little too early. I think I lost a little too many troops from... I think this mortar took down a clump. And they're all clumped up here, so that's why that did not work. So, I'm going to attack it again and defeat it. I just wanted to try... I just wanted to try that combination. And it didn't work out how I expected. But now I know I can improve. We'll go with the same attack. Well, we're going to switch it up, obviously, but the same kind of attack. Okay. Zuka's troops down. Get two smokes out. We missed a mine. I think that's fine. Flare right back up there again. Please don't one-shot my troops. I took a risk. It did not pay off. All right, here we go. We're off on this very long walk of me trudging across this base design a couple of my heavies out in front clearing the way clearing all the mines i accidentally dropped my heavies a little too early so we're gonna let them peek it's okay if they die i don't really know why i'm bringing heavies two smokes at the end to help support me drop down another flare then i'm gonna drop down a flare to the core perfect are you kidding me i'm giving up after this attack this base is literally so easy to take out using using warriors and i'm spending so much energy trying to take this out not gumbo energy just mental energy it is such an easy base to take out i'm just messing up because i'm not the greatest at zukas but you know what that's okay it's a level 69 i can pretty easily destroy it using warriors there's no ice we're just gonna move on and look at different bases i want to attack hard bases I know that that seems a little counterintuitive after I just... Why are all these players so low in medals? Or so low in level? We're going to find a new opponent for some of these. Here we go. Here's a level 70. I want to attack high level players. Again, another base that is just super, super easy. And we're just going to take this base out using, uh, using critters because we can. So we'll do that. Drop some artillery. Take down all of these rocket launchers. Perfect. Just get some critters up in the back. And now we'll just watch them go. I, I'm not going to wait for them to go. We're going to exit out of the game and come back and the base will be destroyed. That's a fun little trick if you want to speed up an attack. Just exit out of your game. Come back. The base will be destroyed. Look at that. Level 70 goes down. No troops dropped. Here's a level 56. We'll find a new opponent. Level 49. Come on. Okay, 48. This is really the only time I'm like actively fishing for a high level player. And you know what the issue is, is I took a very long break of not attacking anyone on my map. And I dropped very far below 600 medals. And now it's trying to match me up with players around my level. Look, I appreciate, I appreciate the help, Boom Beach, but I really... For the sake of this video, want to attack high level players. And you know what? We're going to be forced to take down this level 70 
a base that I said earlier was going to be very easy with Zookas, but we're going to be forced to take it out using, using, um, or sorry, base that is super easy with Warriors, and I'm going to be forced to take it out using Zookas. Look at that, already messing up. Way to go, Christian. Literally spending so much energy on the beach right now. So let's try to conserve here. I didn't lose that many, so I think we'll be fine. We just have to watch my troops very, very carefully because it's very hard to watch and see what exactly they're doing in these trees. We don't want to walk out or anything, so let's do that. Okay, so that cannon is marked now, so we're going to reflare up a little bit. I already taunted. We'll flare down to the core. We'll get our two shocks out. The machine gun is going to be taunted. It's going to be focused on my hero. Nothing is going to hit my Zookas, but a couple cannons. What are they going to do? And this should be an easy win, but the rocket launchers are back up. Okay, just barely taking out the base. Doesn't even matter. Obviously, the player was either doing Himmerman strikes back or trying to counter players that are using tanks, but not smoking their tanks. So a very few subset of people they're trying to defend against. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. We did get a little bit of loot. It doesn't really matter because I don't have much to upgrade. We'll just do two random defenses. We'll get those upgraded. It's taking me so long to level up right now. Uh, in here, let's do, uh, yeah, let's do heavies. I need to get my heavies upgraded. So my hookah combination, what I did today, works a lot better. So I hope you enjoyed this AZ video. Please drop a like if you did. I know it's not technically AZ because I brought heavies, but when you're attacking players at a low level that um, that are higher than you and you don't have a ton of energy, you kind of have to use heavies. I know that a couple of the bases I destroyed today, I don't need to use heavies, but I just like having them just because some bases, they do come in clutch. So just being prepared for that. So I hope you enjoyed. Please drop a like if you did, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.